trust. He just oh, wants to No, it's submission. It's oh, not trust. No. It, it's, tr- it's trust. Oh. Believe me, it's trust. Oh, yeah. Oh. Before? <laughs> <laughs> So what we, again, what we can do is we always want to make sure that there's enough padding that his knuckles aren't going to be pushed into the floor. So we test it beforehand. And we never want his fingers to be curled up like this and then to come on them. Ah. All right, so always sweep. Make sure that, you know, with light pressure, you've got those fingers flat that way because otherwise you break his fingers, yeah? <laughs> and generally speaking, then we want this layer <laughs> than for hygiene, okay? And that's it. We can use our toes for more precision. Again, mostly mostly focused on this uh, muscle here and here. So here and here. How's that pressure? That's, that's good. Actually, not what I was expecting. <laughs> waiting for it. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for and it. And the same thing, you can use your heels. Yeah, <laughs> you need to get in deeper. Oh, ah, yep. mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh. That feels good. And you can just gently rock it. Oh. Pressure? Oh, it's good. It's really good. Okay. Mm. Mm. A bit of shaking as well. That is that nice. <clears throat> no, it's just a kick. Mm. Changing angles. Mm. As I say, I'm not doing an awful lot on his fingers. It's mostly on the muscular part of the hand here and here. And again, you can see how I even caught his fingers in the towel if I'd have stepped on them. So potentially. And then again, curling my toes under. A good technique for massage therapists as well, so they can get their hands, gets all the blood flow happening. Again, a lot heavier pressure with your feet that you can get than you could with your hands. Again, just putting the breathing in the lab, easing off a bit. He's quite tight in here. Letting him breathe. You can see that's getting closer to his tenure, so we just ease off a bit. see a nice blood flow now. Obviously I can't, you know. Bit of tightness there. Yeah, that's a dislocation. Not at all. And now it's dislocated. When I'm laughing at you, mate, we're laughing with you. With you. Yeah, so sweep the fingers out, make sure they're not going to be crushed. And then you're mostly working on the bottom of the thumb muscle and the bottom of the little finger muscle. You're doing this a lot. Yeah. As a, that's, <laughs> How's your pressure for you, Rob? It's good. Probably go a bit more if you want. Yeah, it's a little bit. A bit more there. More. It's too much. Yep. 
run it then? So yeah, a lot of the time when Corey works on me with her feet, she has like, she might be standing in a doorway. So she's got the, the door frame push as down. yeah to push down or to steady her. Get in there and twist your foot a bit. Mm -hmm. How's that, Rob? Can you feel that? Yeah, it's good. Right where you had it there. That's a bit tender, my thumb. But yeah, right, right there. Yeah. Just drive your heel into it and twist. Pressure on it or? Oh, no, I, don't. Oh. Hmm? I think he said no. Oh, no. I think he said go on there. Yes. Yeah. 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 He said sorry? Yes. Oh, okay. That's sorry, what Brian sure. said yes. So, the other side? somebody of your weight could probably walk on his back. Although, first yeah. check with him because he's had that soreness to achieve that balance in different ways. And use your big toes. Yeah, you can use your heels on those bands, or you can use your big toes. Get those heels into his tight bands coming up the side of the back.
Good, yeah. <sighs> Okay, Rob, that's um, looks like something I'd like to give a go. Yeah, no, that's okay. Good. So, you're right yeah, for me right. to get up on that? You want to do that? Oh, you're gonna get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're alive. Oh, yeah, go do that. Well, I might want to give her a hand and just don't so, get on the spine. That's again, all. always make sure too that there's enough padding underneath his chest so that his uh, rib cage isn't being pushed into yeah. the floor. Are you okay yeah, with your ribcage? Oh, that's nice. Because that stores for the elbows too. I can do all the big guys like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you always like good. You can yeah. dig in, mm -hmm. wobble. And... So you can use both your big toes and your heels. Yeah, it helps if you've had some surfing Yeah, he needs experience. a lot of standing there yeah. on his back. Yeah. Because it's got a bend in it. He does. It's very curved. Oh, let's unbend it. Yeah. Get on it. You okay? Breathe. Yeah. If you can. <laughs> You'll know when you... My toes in. You know if it's too much. Because his head will go purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is changing slightly. It's changing colour. I remember I had a guy, the biggest guy I've ever had in my class. He was twice my weight, so he was 250 kilos. I had him walk on my back. Yeah? Yeah, and he clicked every vertebrae in my back. I bet he would. And after a few minutes, I was like, thank you very much. Was it your, That's enough. Was it, your, uh, was it your back or the floorboards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was younger yeah. then. Yeah, that'd be a really good judge. Yeah, right? I size myself. No, next to I've seen one with like a ladder run. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'd be good. Hmm. Try to see if you can click his back. Okay. Breathe in. No. That's no. what I was. No. No, he doesn't. Okay. Too heavy. <laughs> if I was on a table, no problem at all. But not being on this. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, it's hard the ribs are just going, fuck me. 